Serious situation here, guys. Hurricane 8, 150 mile per hour winds, pressure down to 927. That makes it the strongest hurricane this season. Beats out Laura that went into western Louisiana. It's forecast to go to 160. That'll make it cat five right before landfall. 10 diameter, 10 mile diameter eye right there. Look at that thing. Hurricane force winds only go out about 25 miles from the center. It's small and compact, but it's actually getting bigger. And just think, guys, this thing yesterday at this time was just becoming a hurricane. 24 hours, it's gone to Cat 5. Look at this impressive expansion and really symmetrical shot of it today. This is just the last six hours. So devastating as it makes landfall. Here's the forecast. Early tomorrow morning, 160 mile per hour winds. Grants it in the morning. We'll have the very latest for you on bright side. That will move into Nicaragua over to Honduras. Now here's the tricky part. It goes to a remnant low, but then it comes back out as a tropical storm on Saturday in the Western Caribbean. And then where does it go from there? Well, the models take it towards Cuba, kind of zigzag it back and forth. Look at the GFS model. This is Tuesday. This is right now. And then we'll come back to the Western Caribbean. Then as we go through next week into the weekend, Sunday into Monday, it's in Eastern Cuba. And then it comes back to the West and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico by Thursday of next week. So that's a week and a half out. That's a long time in weather models, but it's something that we're going to have to watch for the middle of next week, okay? And, of course, we'll keep that for you right